Hey guys, it's Thursday night. You know what that means. It's time for the Walker Report. This is your host, Brad Walker, the sports nerd. The Walker Report is on In The Zone Sports Radio, part of NGSE Sports. Remember the website, it's NGSEsports.com. Log on to NGSEsports.com for all your current sports content. NGSE Sports, where we never stop. This show is sponsored by Alicia's Pedals and Things. Check out our Facebook page, Alicia's Pedals and Things, or you will find home decor that you will not be able to resist at prices anybody can afford. Check out the bells and stools of your favorite sports teams. Maybe you want to set up for your kid's favorite cartoon or movie character. You can also get full body and neck pedals as well. Log on to NGSEsports.com and go to the Alicia's Pedals and Things tab on the homepage to complete your order. I am also sponsored by my main man, Joey at Amore Pizza at 9700 6th Street North in Pinellas Park. Uh, I'm going to go through their specials, guys, as I do every week. They start on Sunday, guys, with a 12-ounce Delmonico steak for $13.99. They have chicken Alfredo on Mondays for $7.99. Tuesday is Taco Tuesday, guys, three for five beef or chicken. Wednesday is Wacky Wednesday, 60-cent wings, $2 amber block and shock top on draft. On Thursday nights, guys, they feature two one-quarter pound hot dogs and fries for $6.99. And on Fridays, it's all-you-can-eat fish for $9.99. Let us know you heard this on the Walk Report to receive 10% off your total. Also, guys, use the Slice app in the Google or iTunes app store to, to have with their delivery processes. They are part of the delivery as well. My other sponsor is my friend Renee at CreatingZenSpaces.com for cleaning, organization, and pet sitting. Zen Spaces, the local choice in St. Petersburg, Florida for house cleaning, organization, decluttering, and pet sitting. It's all about finding the peace within you and adding comfort to your life. Okay, guys, like I said, this is Brad Walker. Thank you again for joining me on the Walker Report. If you are seeing this and you want to call into my show, the number to reach me is 605-462-0444. The show ID is 4366391. Again, that number is 605 605- Five six two zero four four four. The show ID is four three six six three nine one. Hit the pound key, guys, and you can get in with me on the phone. I just wanted to say something real quick, guys. As I live in Florida, we are preparing for a hurricane in just a few short days. Uh, what's up, Rich? Uh, so again, guys, anyone that's in the line of this, it's on the uh, east coast of Florida. My thoughts and prayers are with you as we speak. Uh, there is a hurricane that will probably be here Monday night, Tuesday morning. Uh, we will be prepared for that. Um, after two years ago, we always prepare. This is this time of the year. I also want to say, um, after talking to the guy that runs my podcast, Mr. Ralph Garcia, uh, I want to thank every one of you guys because supposedly I have 2,000 people listening to this show every week. That's freaking cool, guys. This is only my 14th show, 15th show, and I have 14,000, or sorry, excuse me, 2,000 people following me on here. That is awesome. And I want to thank you guys because without you, this definitely would not be worth it. So again, guys, I'm okay for right now. I think we're going to be okay. My coast will be okay. We're going to get some rain and wind. Um, But, you know, as we say, just be safe if you guys are on the East Coast uh, as the storm comes on its way. Um, I'm going to talk, guys, tonight. I'm going to go over, uh, I'm going to have a buddy of mine come on later on to talk about the Hurricanes and Gator game from this past weekend. Uh, he'll be on about nine, probably a little bit earlier. He said he was going to call in. I'm going to review and preview the final. What's up, Adam? What's up, Aaron? Uh, the final week of the NFL preseason. As we are in the final week, guys. And we are in the final week of our of the NFL preseason. Uh, if you see me turn, guys, it is the Bucks and Cowboys game on to my on my left. See, yes, I think yes, my left. Um, I'm going to go ahead and preview, guys. Tomorrow night, I am so freaking excited. I will be personally at Raymond James Stadium to watch the USF Bulls and Wisconsin Badgers. I will be in the press box. Guys, if it's not raining when I get there, I'm going to take a walk around the field and do a Facebook Live video, guys, for you guys that uh, can't see the game. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to talk about Carly Lloyd. If you guys don't know who she is, she's a U.S. soccer uh, U.S women's soccer player who wants to be an NFL kicker. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to go into, guys, I have some other tidbits here. I'm going to talk about Johnny Manziel not getting any love from the from any XFL team as we have our XFL teams. 
I'm going to talk about Andrew Luck's retirement, how Barry Sanders feels about that. And then I'm going to also, guys, touch about who was the top 10 uniforms of all time um, in the NFL. So we're going to talk about that as well. Um, if there's anything you guys want to touch in on, uh, let me know. Um, is there anything that you guys wanted? Rich, I think FSU is going to win on Saturday against Boise State. I really do. I think that's a game that they can win. My man Danny's on here. What's up, guys? Yeah, Rich, it is a Category 4 hurricane, guys. It will be Category 4 when it hits the East Coast uh, of Florida uh, sometime on Monday evening, early Tuesday morning. So we're going to be prepared for that. So, guys, like I said last week, I talked about uh, the Jacks. Okay. I talked about, uh, you know, women getting equal pay, uh, the U.S. women's soccer team getting equal pay. Uh, that was a very good conversation. And now this week, um, Carly Lloyd would like to be an NFL kicker. Anyone have any thoughts on that? Do you think she can do it? Do you think that there are issues? I just got done reading uh, Mr. Aaron Von Allen's post that he posted on Facebook about all the things that he thinks is the reason why she can't do it. So he states there, I'm not saying that that's what he agrees with, but that's what he said. Uh, if you check out his Facebook page or his YouTube channel, uh, you'll see that he has stated that there are reasons why he, she is not going to be able to make it in the NFL. So again, um, she made a 55-yard field goal in a practice session between the Eagles and Ravens that went viral. Um, Monday told U.S. Soccer Great was given the opportunity to be part of the NFL roster. So, guys, she wants to try out next season to be a kicker in the NFL. Um, I did happen to catch a NFL player. You guys may know him as Los Angeles wide receiver Keenan Allen. Uh, he had this to say about it. He says, sounds sweet until someone blocks the kick and all of a sudden she's on defense. What would it be like to stampede scene in the Lion King movie? That was her, that was his quote. Um, that was his quote about that. Uh, so, again, there are people out there, guys, that, um, do you know, don't think that it can happen. I, You know, Rich, to be honest with you, I hope USF does do well. We have to be able to, the big thing tomorrow night is play defense. We have to contain Jonathan Taylor. I keep saying Stewart. Well, I don't know why I say Stewart. Jonathan Taylor. We have to contain him and company tomorrow night, or it's going to be a long night for USF. Now, we do have uh, the weather playing a factor. It's going to be humid. The rain will be there. That's going to slow any passing game down. I think we have enough on offense to win the game, but we have to be able to stop them. That's going to be the interesting fact that we lost a lot of our good tacklers to, to graduation last year. So it's going to be tough. But we have to stay, you know, I watched an interview earlier this week. Coach Strong said that we have to stay in our gaps. If we do not stay in our gaps, then it's going to be a long night. We have to be able to contain uh, Taylor to not give up the home run, you know, 50, 60-yard touchdown runs and stuff like that. Um, I agree, Adam. I agree with that comment. She should get a shot, but she should not get preferential treatment. I agree with that. So, again, guys, you know, the preview for, the, for tomorrow night's game is – USF has the offense. We can score points. Blake Barnett, Jordan Cronkite, we have uh, Mitchell Wilcox coming back. we got a lot of offensive guys. It's going to be our defense. It's going to have to show up tomorrow night. I have faith too, Rich. I, I call for an upset. Um, I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to predict a 34-31 win for USF. It's going to come down to a game-winning field goal. We're going to win it in the end. Uh, I think we're going to be able to kind of contain Wisconsin for enough time. I, again, could be wrong. I know there's a lot of Badger fans out there, and guys, I've been told there's going to be a lot of red and white there tomorrow night in the stands at Raymond James. And if you guys don't have anything to do and you got a little bit extra cash in your pocket, man, jump down, go down there where you're green and gold, man. We're going to try to sell out, try to get 42,000 people at Raymond James Stadium tomorrow night. Get in some fun before that storm hits, man. We got to get in and get some fun before that storm comes on Monday. So get in there before we go. 
Uh, the line, I believe, Adam, is I think it is 16 and a half. Wisconsin's a two touchdown favorite. I don't know if they'll cover that. Yes, hashtag shock world, Zach, hashtag horns up. That's what we got to, we're, we're hoping for. Um, now, as far as the rest of the USF season goes, yeah, they're important. Yes, you do. Horny Brook tra- uh, transferred to FSU. Um, as far as the rest of the USF season goes, guys, they have, of course, BYU later in the season. Georgia Tech next week, that's going to be interesting. We beat them here last year. That was probably my favorite game last year covering because I got to see Terrence Horn run back two touchdowns for 90-plus yards. It was so cool for punt returns. Um, so we have Georgia Tech, but it's in their house. We have then uh, 24-14. You don't think that Wisconsin is going to score more than 14 points. Okay. All right, Adam. Okay. Okay. I, I, all, of the, all of the experts have Wisconsin favored to win. I've seen 31-17. The closest I've, I've seen, guys, is 31-21. So that's the closest I've seen. A lot of people think Wisconsin is going to roll. That's what they believe, that the Bulls can't stop the run, that uh, Taylor is going to run all over the place, and we're, we're not going to be able to keep up with them. They're too big off on the offensive line. But, you know, if we don't make any mistakes, we don't cause a lot of penalties, and we can get one or two good kick returns or something like that, we can we can have we have a shot. We have an outside shot of winning the game. Um, the Bulls, you know, they have the, the, the rest of the series. that You know, they got Cincinnati – Way down there, um, later in the season, you got Temple, obviously. And then, of course, waiting for us at the end of the season, as it always is, you have UCF. Now, that's going to be the interesting game. It's in the bounce house this year, guys. It's on the road in Orlando. Of course, the Warren I-4, uh, if you guys remember the Arena League, you had the Tampa Bay Storm and the Predators that no longer exist. We did get a new franchise. In case you guys didn't listen last week, Tampa Bay did get a franchise. It would be called the Vipers. So that I, um, I've been uh, approached again to cover them. So I'm hoping we, I get a chance to cover that because it'll be one more step closer to the NFL. What is the spread on the FSU game? Let me take a look for you, Rich, because I am not sure. Let's take a look here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, right now, Rich, the um, pick. It uh, looks like uh, Florida State is favored by six and a half. Six and a half favorites. So that's who it is right there. Yeah, six and a half is the line right now uh, for FSU. They should be able to cover that, guys. FSU, uh, let me ask you this, Rich, since you're on here, and I didn't get a chance to really have anyone come on last week to talk about FSU football. Is Lee Taggart on the hot seat in, at, in Tallahassee? <laughs> It's going to be a sloppy game. It's supposed to rain uh, middle of the afternoon tomorrow, but it's nothing to do with the storm. It's just standard afternoon showers here in Florida. Uh, the rain is supposed to be over by 7 o'clock, kickoffs at 7.30. So it's going to be, you know, a wet field out there. You know, that's that could play. I actually wrote an article where I thought that they could use the humidity um, in their effect. So you say no, Rich. Okay, so he's on the hot seat. Okay. Okay. Well, let me get. Let me ask you this too, Rich. What is going to be their record this year? What's FSU's record going to be this year? Win by fourteen. Okay, I would agree with that. I'll be watching on Saturday as well because my game from last Saturday was too close for comfort. Miami should have won that football game. 